Hey there Akuma fans, this is Charlie with the Gossiger Application staff with another tip for you. I had a customer contact me and tell me that his P300L turning center was moving in a way that he did not expect. Uh, he commanded a single axis of motion and two axes moved and he thought that there were gremlins in the machine. So I figured I'd do a quick video to display something that uh, the P300 and P200, actually Akumas in general, will do this and then show you uh, how to eliminate it. First thing I want to do is I'm going to move over to my collision avoidance screen so that you can see my machine. Uh, it's nicely, your turret's nicely loaded up. I'm using an LB3000MW today. Doesn't matter, goes for just about every Akuma product. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a boring bar and if you glance at my program that's over on the left side over here, you'll notice that I just go home, call up a tool, move to the face of the part, which by the way, I've got all the way out here so we don't have a collision. And then it's going to go home, canceling the tool call, and then move in Z. I'm going to do it in single block with my rapids slowed down so that we can see this malady that we're talking about. Watch as we go through. There's our tool index. Now we're going to wrap it in Z to the face of the part. And then move down in X to half inch from the center. And now on the very next line we should just see G0 X30. So it should go straight out in X. But we're also canceling the tool call in the same line. Watch what happens when I hit cycle start. Notice that X and Z are moving. I say, like, hey, 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 what's going on with that? What's that noise all about? Then the final line, Z30, takes us home. So the customer saw this and thought, wow, you know, there's, there's something possessed about my machine. And it, uh, it was a little more difficult for me to explain over the phone. So let's do that here. Let's explain what the heck's going on. As I tap through this, the tool offset is engaged right now at this point of the game. Tool, the, the Z.1 command is in reference to the tool tip for tool eight. That's this guy right here. Now, just for arbitrary sake, let's move down an X5. So what I've told the machine is go to Z.1 with tool eight offset eight active. And that's putting us right here. Notice that it's just about parallel to or collinear with the edge of the parts catcher. Now when I say G0 X30 cancel the tool call, what it's going to do is it's going to move the X and the Z so that Z will remain at the called out 100 thousandths. But since the tool offset is no longer active, my reference plane is now collinear with the front of the, the the parts catcher. Oh, okay. So the original hundred thousandths was with a with a tool offset active. Now the current one hundred thousandths is with a tool offset not active. Okay. Now I see why it's doing it. It's trying to maintain some distance. It, it's trying to maintain the position of an axis that has not been named into a location that was previously called up. All right, well, now that I know that, I can avoid it, but Akuma is very, very good about giving us options for everything. They, we don't have to do things a certain way with Akuma nine times out of ten. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to my parameter page, my parameter button, and use my display change. I'm looking for the parameter called other function. There we go, optional parameter, other function. And uh, as I mentioned in just about every video, if you don't see the other function in your display change screen, use the black arrow over key and find menu change. Make sure that your all display is check marked. All that is, it's a screen so that you can avoid seeing parameters that you don't use on a regular basis. Once I, once I touch the other function key, I can close the display change window and I want to zip all the way down to the bottom, back up just a little bit. And here I have two parameters that I want to talk about. The first is move only axis for order. Now, if you, uh, if you say that quickly, it's like, well, what the heck does that mean? 
oh, only move the axis that I've commanded. Yeah, that's kind of what I wanted in the first place. By default, it comes up as no effect from the factory. So what I'm going to do is highlight it, touch F1 menu, and say effect. And as soon as I do, I get the alarm that says power on effective. That, that just means that, hey, you made a major change to your parameters, and now I have to cycle power in order to, um, in order to make that active. So I'm going to turn off my control, and we will turn it back on and see what we got. Alright, so now let's go back over to collision avoidance again, take a look at it. Still in single block, slowing things down. And now, there's my tool 8. Moving down, some of you we may have already noticed what, uh, what I've got going on here. There's my X5. Now I'm going to make that motion that caused me problems in the past. And take a look, it's going straight up in X but I'm getting this big red bar across the top of the screen that says alarm D, no move, without order, after change offset. Wow, that's confusing as all get out. No, it's just telling me that it's doing exactly what I asked it to do by changing that parameter. It's saying, hey, I believe that I should be moving the Z axis to maintain a 100 thousandths uh, position but I didn't do it, so I'm going to let you know that I didn't do it. Yeah, well, I know you didn't do it. So let's do one more parameter change. This, I could leave it there if I wanted to, but uh, having red stuff pop up on my screen doesn't make me happy. So let's jump back over to that parameter screen, do our display change, come on down to the uh, other function, zip down to that... Uh, move only axis order that that's the one we just changed directly below it display warning for axis movement if I change that guy to not display now let's run our program all over again collision avoidance one at a time now I don't get the big red bar and my machine only moves in the axis that I command. Alright, that's a fun one, didn't it? Hope this helps you out. If there's anything else we can do for you, please uh, leave me a message in the comments or feel free to reach out to your local Gossiker representative and have a great day.